KY3 News continues. And welcome back to Ozarks Today on this Monday morning. City Council will meet tonight and make a decision on the Hotel of Terror's eminent domain ordinance. Now, after thousands signed a petition to save this haunted attraction, council will decide now to repeal that ordinance or put it to a special election. Now, Caitlin Schumacher live in the newsroom to take a look at this process and uh, what it all means here. Caitlin? Good morning. Well, now that that petition has been filed and verified, many people may be wondering what comes next. Well, City Council is going to have to forego that eminent domain ordinance or they are going to have to put it to a special election. Now, if City Council does choose to make it go to a special election, then the people will head to the polls on August 8th. They will be given a ballot that will ask voters if the city should declare it necessary to obtain the property in order to construct and maintain the Main Street Bridge. And if voters choose yes, then the city will continue to move forward with the eminent domain process. If voters choose no, then it will repeal the ordinance. As of right now, that could be the only issue on the ballot. Now I have talked with the county clerk and it appears that we will be the only topic on the August ballot. There could be other municipalities or the county. However, it appears that we will be the only issue on the ballot at this time. You know, not knowing what's going to happen, you know, we, we get a ton of support from the from the people. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of cars. People are sending us pictures of them that, that say Hotel of Terror rules on them, which is pretty cool. Um, but you know, we're just we're just trying to get through this and, and we want to keep something fun here. I mean, it's a tradition and we want to keep that tradition alive. Now, if City Council chooses to repeal the ordinance, then the city and the owners of the Hotel of Terror will go back to negotiating a price. Sterling Mathis, who owns the Hotel of Terror, says that he is willing to sell to the city, but it has to be for the right price. City Council is expected to make a decision at tonight's council meeting, which is at 630 at City Hall, and the public is welcome to comment on this issue. Live in the newsroom, I'm Caitlin Schumacher. We've been following that.